Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking a baby squid stew. So let's begin. Okay, so here we are again. My first recipe since I came out of hospital and I'm going to be making the same one as the day that I ended up in hospital. So I've added about three tablespoons of olive oil to this pan. I'll just turn this up a bit. I'm a bit rusty today. I haven't done a recipe for so long and I'm still not fully recuperated yet. By the way, I'm going to be eating... We're going to be eating the squid stew with the Galician style boiled potatoes which I'll leave a link in the description. There's a three minute video to show you how I cook them. Okay, so I've got my squid here. Baby, big baby squid. And this was frozen, I've defrosted it. Though you can add it straight, you know, from the freezer. But I decided to defrost it in the fridge overnight. So this is, I'm going to put this on number 7, and just wait for that to heat up. Okay, so once the oil is hot-ish, I'm going to add the, about a small, small onion, um, finely chopped, and about three garlic cloves, also finely chopped. And I'll just gently soften it all up. First of all, I'm going to add a bit of salt to this, just a little bit, because the squid will probably have salt also. So we'll just leave this here, we'll turn it around every now and then, and wait for it to soften up. Okay, so once the onion and the garlic is nicely softened up. What I'll do, put this in there, is I'm going to add about three tablespoons of fried tomato sauce, and I'm going to add a a teaspoon of sweet paprika. You can use the spicy one if you like. I'm using the sweet one, so that I don't, I don't get into trouble that way. Um, we'll chuck in a bay leaf also. And we'll just give this a mix. Dun, dun, dun. And next, we'll add the glass of white wine. And we'll leave there, we'll leave that there until it bubbles. Let's turn the heat up a bit so that it'll bubble it will bubble quicker. Okay, so once it starts to bubble, we'll leave it there for about three minutes to boil until the the white wine, the alcohol evaporates. And I'll keep it on number nine, full whack. And while this bubbles away, what I'll do is turn this on so that the potatoes We'll start to cook. Let's give this a little stir. Mm. Smells wonderful. Really nice. So you'll know once the alcohol has evaporated because of the smell. It won't make you 
They won't knock you out basically, the smell. So let's leave that there for about a couple of more minutes. Right, let's turn the extractor fan on a little bit. And once the alcohol has evaporated, what we'll do is add the squid in. I'll leave it on number nine because this is going to really um, cut the boiling right down. The heads are the best part. I love them. These are also great um, fried with a little bit of olive oil. But I'll do them another day. Well, it's still boiling there. I thought it would, uh, it would stop boiling. But anyway, what I'll do, I'll turn this down to number seven now, and I'm going to cover it up and leave them there for ten minutes. Right, so ten minutes have gone by, and what I'll do, I'm just going to turn these, move these about a little bit. Yummy. And we'll leave it there for about 20 minutes. Covered up. Uncovered, I mean. Sorry. I'll leave it there for 15 minutes. On number 7, and without the lid, so that the sauce thickens up a bit. And these should be ready anyway. Yeah, they're nice and soft. Well, they're al dente. They'll soon soften up. So, 15 minutes. And we'll be back. Well, um, the upside of having this operation was that is that I can still eat what I like, drink what I like, so that's good. The downside is certain foods taste really salty, some don't taste of anything. The worst part is that wine, it doesn't taste of anything. I've got no taste buds for wine. But that's a bummer, isn't it? Also, um, smell. There are certain things that I can't smell. Like, for example, my wife farting in bed at night. <laughs> um, another downside of this is that I feel really, really tired very easily. According to the doctors, this takes about two to three months, you know, until I'm recuperated. Which is a bummer also. These look good, but the thing is, 800 grams, you're joking, they've, they shrunk a lot. The thing is, I haven't made this dinner for years and years and years, I didn't realise that they shrunk so much. It does smell good though. Look, can you smell that? And these Galician potatoes look good also. So... I don't know what else to say really. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. And this is going to be ready in five minutes. So the next step will be to dish it up in here, I think. It looks a bit big, doesn't it? For that amount. 
I think we're going to be starving today. Luckily I've got plenty of food for the afternoon while I watch a film. So let's serve this up in five minutes. Well, so that's today's lunch sorted. My apologies for not being that good. But I look forward to doing my next recipe soon and getting back into things. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.